Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James and welcome to this, the next in our series of videos that we call Quick Tips. I've got a message here, it says, Dear James, can you make a video about the apps that you carry on your phone regarding diving? Yes, Michael C, I can, and here it is. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make your next dive on that big red subscribe button down there, and we'll head over to the workbench and I'll show you what's up. All right, so as you can see, I have two basic groups here for my diving apps that I use on the regular basis. Let's have a look first at diving. Um, I have vPlanner and Multideco. I keep them on my phone. These are dive planning apps where you can kind of calculate a dive plan based on the parameters you set in there. It's nice to have them on my phone. It's nice to always have a dive computer in my pocket uh, if I don't already have one on my wrist uh, that I can whip out and just run a profile and see what it looks like. I generally don't use vPlanner or Multideco when either teaching tech students or going for a tech dive myself because I like to plan my dives on the actual computer that's gonna be in the water with me and I'm obviously not taking my phone tech diving. So uh, generally I'll use the Perdix or the Garmin or whatever I'm rocking for the dive to do the planning because that's gonna increase the accuracy and as we always say, plan the dive, dive the plan. Well, that's just gonna make the plan and the actual dive closer to reality. But I do like having them on my phone. I do use them on the regular basis. Like if I'm out somewhere in the middle of nowhere and I just want to see what a profile would look like, then I'll use them for that. But other than that, not many other practical uses. Um, my tide times, we don't particularly have very high tides here in South Florida, obviously being in the tropics. Uh, but if I was up in the Northeast or Northwest of the USA or even back home in the UK, this would be an app that I would use much more often, especially if I was shore diving. I have the Navionics uh, boating app, which is just a GPS app for your phone. Uh, it's a paid app, which I think I've let my subscription lapse on that. But basically you just log in, you pay an annual subscription and it's like having turned your phone into a boating GPS. Uh, with all the waypoints and markers it's fantastic then I have these two cool apps here, iMixer and iMixer Nitrox. Um, these are basically used for mixing gas and working out how you would need to fill a cylinder. So you can work, put in the top here what gases are available to you. And in this case, I have, okay, 500 PSI of 26%, and I want, my target is 3000 PSI of 32%. Well, this tells me, okay, great. Add pure oxygen to 886 PSI, top it off with air to 3000 and hey presto you'll have 32%. Super useful little calculating tool. I uh, used to use that all the time when I worked in really busy dive centers to work out custom mixes. Um, down the bottom row here, I have obviously the SDI, TDI, ERDI, PFI app because that is the agency I currently teach for. The app itself is basically just a shrunk down version of their website, um, which is totally useful, totally fine. I can look up student certifications in it. I can issue certifications from it. Um, I can, you know, upload documents. I can check standards, all that good stuff. Um, so I do use that quite frequently. And then down the bottom here, these two are the Shearwater and the Garmin app, which I use for logging my dives. Yes, I still log my dives, but I do it electronically because it's 2022. I don't write in a little book and stamp and sign and you sign and no, I don't do that, okay? Um, why do I only have the Shearwater and the Garmin? Well, for 99% of my dives, I have either a Shearwater or a Garmin dive computer with me. Um, so that's obviously convenient. There are dozens of other apps out there that will allow you to sync your dive computer with Bluetooth connectivity to their device. Some of them are paid, some of them are free, some of them are good, some of them are rubbish. I've always found the easiest way is, oh, you've bought a Garmin dive computer, just use the Garmin app. They log the dive. The Garmin one in particular is really good because obviously you've got GPS. So if you look at this dive here, great, I've got my profiles, I've got all the details from the dive, but up the top here, it has the GPS location. This looks like it's somewhere off of Key Largo on the first reef by the looks of things. So super cool little tool to have. So really like that app. Uh, for logging my dives. The Shearwater one works in the same way, but obviously no GPS. Uh, and then over here, I have the weather group, 
of apps. Um, there's a few here. The free app that comes with the Apple phones is pretty much garbage and useless for marine applications. Uh, what the forecast is just a humorous look at the weather. And then I have the climb app and the storm radar app, which I really only use when it's hurricane season, the tropics here to follow tropical storms as they develop and so on. The two that I use all the time for dive planning that I look at to see what the condition is going to be like, especially when I have students flying in from out of state and we've got to make a go, no go call if there's inclement weather are wind finder and wind alert. So I generally find, and you've got to bear in mind that both of these apps are drawing from the same data that they're getting from NOAA anyway. They're just running it through their own algorithm and coming up with their own interpretation. I generally find that wind finder is uh, more conservative and wind alert is less conservative. So what I'll do is I'll look at both forecasts for the same exact place and kind of go with a middle ground of expectation of what it will be like. Um, but Windfinder, for example, I mean, they both work basically the same way here. You can see I've set my key point as North Key Largo where I do the majority of my diving. And it just gives you a very simple wind direction, wind speed, wave height, uh, and expected temperatures and high pressures and so on as the days go on. And you can just scroll through. And again, this is a free app. They're gonna serve you ads for weddings in Maui. Cute, I like it. Um, but you can see the forecast up to eight days in advance, which is quite useful for planning out a whole course of diving. Um, if we look down the bottom here, I have Magic Seaweed. Magic Seaweed is very much a surfing app. It focuses on tidal conditions and wave height, um, which is really useful uh, when you do a lot of shore diving. I use that app a lot when we were in Hawaii doing a lot of shore diving, um, and I just find it a, a nice tool to have, but not something I really use that much here in South Florida. So those are the basic apps that I use on a regular basis. Now, every six to nine months, I get an email from somebody who is developing a social media app for scuba diving. They're like, hey, love divers ready, love the content. Was wondering if you'd help us develop this program and you know, you have a lot of insider information and expertise. And I say, yeah, absolutely. This is my uh, consultation fee. Let me know, you know how much involvement you're looking to have. We can scale it up or down from here. And all of a sudden, whoop, no. They don't want to pay for your expertise. So I don't get involved in those kind of projects and I have yet to see one come to market that is actually successful. The closest has been Dive Plus, uh, which is out there, but I find that it is riddled with spam from Southeast Asia and it's pretty much unusable. Um, but it is a way that you can share photos from your dives and so on and so forth. And as Instagram continues its decline towards TikTok status, uh, I think there is room on the market for a really cool photo, uh, specifically underwater photo sharing app for scuba divers. We'll see if anything ever develops. But let me know what I'm missing because this is a two-way street here, guys. I'm showing you mine. Let me know in the comments below what apps you guys like to use for scuba diving, tracking your dives, logging your dives, planning your dives, or if there are any social apps out there that you value. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the diving related apps that I keep on my phone and use on a pretty regular basis. I hope this video helped you. If it did, consider giving it the old thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already, or share this video with some of your dive buddies. Until next time, my name's James. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Dive safe. Dive often.